And welcome back to another episode of All of Fabric 5, where today we're carrying on with our progress into Applied Energistics 2. So, last episode we got our uh, Crystal Growth Accelerator set up and a little bit of solar generation just so that that's not as, as uh, painful to use. Uh, you, can, you, can, you, can, you can sit there, mate. Uh, still a face. So, uh, what we need to get into today, for a start, I think, is the Inscriber Press. Now, last episode, we went over to Silent Player Zero's base and swapped them for some uh, Inscriber Presses uh, because I hadn't found any Meteors. Uh, unfortunately, I think all the ones nearby had been raided, so you can, of course, uh, well, actually, I say of course, but I didn't know this was a thing. Uh, you can turn like a logic press and a block of iron into another logic press. So we managed to get a few of them and we should probably set up uh, maybe something for like other people to use if they even need to go looking for these. Uh, these things. So we've got the, the inscriber presses. Um, I've also done a whole bunch of mining uh, in between episodes. Mostly because we're a little bit short on diamonds. So we've got 32 diamonds here, uh, and then we've got some more diamonds here, so hopefully this is enough. Hopefully this is enough, and of course, it's an actual storm. Well, at least when it's a storm you can skip it. Much better, much better. So, let's craft this inscriber. Uh, immediately I could see that we're going to need some slime. But luckily, we have a bunch of slimes uh, from, well, a bunch of terrarian slime green gel that can be turned into slime. Because there's heaps of those slimes jumping around, which are usually pretty annoying, although they do drop these bombs, which we should probably use at some point. <laughs> um, uh, then we just have to craft some pistons. I'm probably going to want like some cobblestone for that. And yeah, we should be able to pretty easily whip up one of these. Now, I don't think there's a thing. Oh, you can make an advanced inscriber. Right. Although, I think, so what does that require? That's actually not too bad. We might make some of these. I think we're still going to want, in total, like one for each press and then another one for making silicon. So we, if, if you have five of them, it can be quite easy to set up some automation or at least get a bunch of stuff crafting at the same time. So I think I'm going to do that. Let's make enough stuff to make hopefully five of these. Five inscribers. Now hopefully we don't get one as a quest reward. That would be interesting. A basic storage unit. A crude storage unit. Um, I mean actually this doesn't look like it's too advanced. We probably could pull one of these off if we needed to. But uh, no, 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 forbidden chest, forbidden chest. Cool, so we've got our inscribers. I can tell already this is going to start making a bit of a mess if we try and wedge this down here. I mean, we've kind of got this room, but I want hoppers and stuff. We're going to need to make a factory at some point, I think. <laughs> We're getting too many things. If we had this, I think we'd still want to go one up. So we can hopper into it. And we'll just run the cables around the back. I think this will be okay. And then a bunch of hoppers. Or we can use item pipes now that we're crafting them. Probably work as well. Okay. <laughs> so it works. It works. Our stuff is ending up back here. Uh, which I guess is all you can ask for, really. Um, it does not look great, but we will we'll be looking at improving this in the future. I think we're starting to potentially outgrow our starting base, even though I haven't filled most of it up yet. I don't know, we'll see how we go. We could just keep expanding. That is an option, that is an option. But all right. So this is getting us a bunch of printed engineering circuits. Now, the reason we might want to upgrade to the A2 stuff inscriber, um, a2 things inscriber rather, is because you can put in stacks of stuff. But now that we've set this up, that's kind of not a big deal anymore. 
Wait, did we finish putting in all the... Wait, why are you not inserting? Oh! Oh, that's not where that goes. Okay. That's, um... That's not where that goes. We have to do that. We would have to do that. That would work. Oh my gosh, that looks terrible. <laughs> uh, okay. Kind of works. Kind of works. Realized after setting this up, we probably could have got away with one barrel and taken advantage of all the the uh, the white listing. Uh, at the moment, I'm just setting it a blacklist and just only yeah treating them as dumb pipes. Uh, but we're getting a whole bunch of printed silicon, a whole bunch of these chips. Uh, that should be pretty cool. I'm still. Crafting up some more silicon that we can hopefully chuck in the right barrel. And yes, these signs help quite a bit. I think we're still... Okay, with all of these running, we might be struggling for power. And yes, these are offline. So we might have to get some more solar generators going. Perhaps. Perhaps. Uh... Yeah, I think we're struggling. We're struggling a little bit. And I, th I don't think this is going to work, because he can insert from the top. The left, right, back, and front, and this can only insert from the bottom of the machine. So we'll have to do a bit smarter piping. But that, that shouldn't be too bad, actually. That'll be quite handy. So on the bottom, we'll say you only accept silicon. Ooh. Rip. Uh... So silicon will only go in the bottom of this thing. Yes, it did. Cool. And then in the front, I think we only ever want redstone. Uh, so that should be cool. Nice. And then up the top, we want it to be any of these three. And then we hopefully, providing we've got enough silicon and all the other stuff, uh, which we probably don't, let's go to silicon over there. If we were to check these three things in here, we should eventually end up with... Nice. That's worked really well. Uh, I want to try and... Hide how messy things are by making things grey instead of dark coloured. <laughs> but that will work. And we're ending up with these different presses. And we could even export, instead of even bothering with this chest, just chuck them all in here, but I'm potentially going to be low of silicon in. So I want to kind of prioritise which, which uh, chips I make. Cool. So with that done, I do want to make the ME controller. We don't have Skystone, I'll have to go and find one of them. Actually, I need the... I'm gonna have to make the Meteorite Compass so I can go get some Skystone. Uh, so we'll hold off on the ME controller, but we can start on the ME drive, and that will be reasonably simple now. Like, we just need two engineering ones, so we can come in here and be like, hey, give me two of those, chuck them in there, and away it goes. Although, oh no, it's daytime now. Somebody must have slept. Yeah, power is going to be... Oh, that's... Uh, <laughs> we have a visitor. We have a visitor. What on earth is that? <laughs> oh dear, what's it going to be? What is this? A summoning staff. Ah. Oh. Uh, if we find our dragon, it's linked. And we pop down here. 
<laughs> I kind of want to steal this, this armor. I'd never do such a thing. So what's my favorite color? Uh, orange. <laughs> Okay, I'm not sure quite what Brad's up to, but uh, yeah, this this summoner thing I had seen it, so I did know it was a thing, and yeah, very handy, very handy. I wonder what happens if you've got your mount set to wandering and he's like way off in a chunk that's unloaded. That's a question. But yeah, now we have two dragons sitting at our base. Kind of want to steal them. Steal the dragon armor. <laughs> okay, we might be getting involved in a raid, perhaps. I'm not quite sure how far away he went. Oh, his dragon has disappeared. All right, I mean, we may as well go check it out. <laughs> All right. Dragon versus... Oh, there's a little bit of lag, actually. Oh dear. Oh, the dragon is hurt. Oh, the <laughs> dragon is dead. <laughs> dragon is dragon is dead. All right, all right. Wow, well, that was always a risk. <laughs> oh, rest in peace, dragon. We will we will tame another one. Oh, you can't. You don't want to put that in a bundle. All right, I think we lost the raid. <laughs> okay, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. All right, somewhere around here is the original red. This one. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, mate. Here we go. We may not have a dragon anymore. But we have one of these birds, which you know that's still it's still cool. It's not quite a dragon, but uh, it'll it'll do. Uh, so just been out hunting for meteorites, and I did not realize they contained flux blocks. That's that's pretty handy. Nothing in the chest. Nothing in the chest. I don't really need the chest. But cool. Mate. No. There should be enough sky stone to uh, hold this over for a little bit at least. Unfortunately these meteorite compasses, they're kind of, I don't realize when you've harvested an entire meteorite. So the first one I went to had like two bits of sky stone left. But uh, alright, let's, let's head back home. And just just popping into Mr. Sneaks's base. Uh, <laughs> wow, he's got a lot of stuff. Yeah, probably should have been recording, but uh, I wasn't. I uh, just had a trade with uh, Mr. Sneaks, and we got all of this for a whole bunch of bauxite dust. I think he's up to the point where he can process that. So I had about 52 stacks of bauxite. So whatever that minus that is, plus I gave him uh, a stack of bauxite ore. I don't know, this seems like a lot. This seems like a lot. <laughs> but that's cool, that's cool. Uh, we will definitely be using that. Um, and I keep getting feathers from the bird. But all right. So I definitely want to carry on and now we could make the Emmy controller now because I've got some sky stone. And did we just go straight for the Emmy controller? I think so, because you can just chuck power straight in it, right? And it's kind of the heart of your system. Let's do an ME controller. Uh, because I think I have everything. We got Skystone. Now that was Skystone. 
blocks, wasn't it? Which is just smelted skystone. So that won't be too bad. Let's get a bunch of this happening. Got a whole bunch of silicon in here. Which goes in there. Uh, if we were going to craft ourselves the ME drive as well, two engineering processors and some cables. Shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, I've already got it in. Nice. Emmy drive. And I'll hold off getting all the rewards just yet. Uh, so storage cells will probably be going for 1k. Probably, although... We'll start with 1k's. We'll start with 1k storage cells. Uh, I definitely want the terminal and the crafting terminal. And then we're certainly going to want the pattern encoding one so we can start doing auto crafting. Definitely. This is pretty simple actually, so we can get ourselves the ME terminal. Uh, I think we immediately want to go for the crafting one. I won't have anything on me. Crafting terminal, nice. This should be enough to get us the crafting one. Perfect. A pattern encoder. Oh, that's going to use up the crafting terminal. We're going to want it. We're definitely going to want it. Uh, but now I need another crafting terminal. <laughs> There we go. So we've got crafting terminal, pattern encoding terminal. I guess the interface one is another good one. Pattern access. Pattern access. So we've got encoding, crafting, ME terminal, pattern access. I'm assuming pattern access is the one that lets you see all the, like all your interfaces and stuff. So we've got these things. We definitely want to get, if we had a storage drive, we would have, we would have our storage working. So we need these storage components. We're gonna require a bunch of these. We should get a whole heap. We should get as many as we can. I guess that means we get five. What are we short of? Ah, oh, we should have charged Certus. All right, so we probably want to charge up the stack of Certus Quartz. And that fancy automation, is that still working? It's still working. It's still working. Yeah, so that was those storage components, and then we can craft the drives, and we got two of them. Neat. Neat, and now we need to set this up somewhere that makes sense. Um, I don't really want to put it here. This this would would work, wouldn't it? Online. It would work. It's not great. <laughs> it's not great. Uh, but we could. Now I think yeah, we're a little bit short on power. But we could check in the crafting terminal, and actually that should that should go lower. It's going to be the main one we want to use all the time. Maybe we put the pattern encoding terminal there. And yeah, we don't have enough power. Uh, okay. Okay. Maybe I try and make some more solar generators. And actually, we have the stuff for making a ME controller, so let's do it. So many achievements. Uh, I suspect we don't really have the power for running this, but that means we can now rearrange all of this. And I mean, in theory, we're going to be able to get rid of the storage wall. And have our ME stuff here, which could be kind of nice. Maybe I, because a lot of these are actually empty. Uh, we didn't end up using them. Most of my stuff's stored on like <laughs> this chest and this chest. Yeah, hey, we have power. And now we don't have power. We need solar panels. 
Just uh, waiting on some tin plates so I can make some batteries and battery time. If we plonk a bunch of these here. Now we might be getting to the point where the cables can't keep up. So these produce four, I'll have a tick. So it's 44. And then we're putting them into cables that can transfer 128. Okay, no, so we're good. We're good. Everything should be on now. Everything is not on. Yeah, okay. Uh, if instead we start going into an ME controller, though, that might fix things. Uh, I guess for now we will replace that with this. That's better. I think this stores a bit of energy. I think that's how that works. But neat. That's pretty cool. And then we can start crafting some stuff. Probably want to set things up better and see. Yeah, we're going to want better storage cells. Nice. Dragon acquired. <laughs> All right. Crafting with this is already really good. There goes a 4K storage cell. And then we could potentially call a 4K disk. That's pretty sweet. That's going to help with some of our storage. And then I guess it's just, you know, spending the time uh, checking everything we want to put in here in here and tidying this up. We can get rid of this entire thing now. But hey, I've got a bit of tidying up to do, a bit of jamming stuff in the storage system. Always a, a little bit of a time consuming, but very satisfying point in a modern Minecraft playthrough. But anyway, it's been Classic Duff. Thanks for watching. We'll come back next time for some more All the Fabric 5.